everyone, my name's Miffy and I'm Hearts 2024 Research Intern. This is the first of a five part video series where I show you what actually happens in field applied agricultural research. I studied a Bachelor of Agricultural Science at the University of Adelaide. That was done at the Wake Campus and here at the Roseworthy. I work here. And I also work here. I work alongside Beck, our Research and Extension Manager, and Katie, our Technical Officer. As field applied researchers in agriculture, we plant thousands of small plots of wheat, barley, canola, pulses like lentil and beans, and lots of other crops. We investigate how those crops are influenced depending on what treatments we apply to them. Some examples of those treatments include planting the crop at different times, like early May, late May, and early June, also known as time of sowing or toss. Some trials vary the amount of fertiliser applied from low rates, like 30 kilograms per hectare, to high rates, like 240 kilograms per hectare. Other trials test the effects of a range of herbicides and how those herbicides affect the crop and the grain quality of that crop. And in a new trial this year, we'll be observing the crop safety effects of herbicides resulting from the cedar either driving slowly or driving fast. So what tasks do we need to complete before we're ready to be in the paddock seeding? What tasks do you think we do after seeding while the crops are growing? Well, you can't go on holiday because we have work to do, but what work? I also couldn't think of answers to these questions before starting my role here at Heart. As agricultural researchers, Shouldn't we have all the plans? Well, sort of, yes. It's called a protocol. The protocol is the document that details everything that is required to conduct a trial. For example, what varieties we'll be using, what type of assessments or measurements will need to be taken, and what grain analysis tests we'll do after harvest. So, how do we turn this into this? Well, this definitely helps. But what's more important are the many different jobs that we do before, in between and after sowing and harvest. I'm going to show you what these jobs are in the videos, so make sure you stick around. Well, that's all for now, but stay tuned because this video is the first in a five part series where I show you what actually happens in field applied agricultural research. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode of Ag Research, the seasonal timeline.